guys chapter 5 has been out for a entire week now bro it is the 10th when i'm making this i know i just posted a video like this but i'm gonna post another one because i did just get a new controller as you guys can see i have the scuff envision pro this thing is absolutely amazing bro there's so many different like buttons you can use so much so much you can do within the program like binding your paddles and oh my this controller is absolutely amazing so today we're going to be going over again the best settings possible for chapter five we're going to go over our display settings our binds our controller settings our keyboard and mouse stuff whatever we're going to go over it today in this video let's just jump straight into it right now bro all right guys we're going to jump straight into it as you guys can see we have the new ui we did not have this before and there is some setting differences from last season of this that i personally changed so we're just going to go through everything. We are still on full screen, 1920 by 1080. We're not playing stretched at all. 360 FPS still, performance mode, of course. 150 brightness. Now, what's new is I changed my colorblind. This season, for me at least, is a little darker than last. So I put it on Tritonope 8 to make my game brighter so I could just see better. For some people, that might not be the case. For me, it works perfect. 95 3D res, like always, chat. I recommend this. It gives you lower input delay, a little bit better FPS without a terrible graphic difference. View distance near, low, low, low. Show FPS, I have that on. You can turn that off if you'd like. Now the audio, everyone's audio is different. We're just gonna go through it real quick. My audio on mains 31 is kind of low, but for me, I have my audio set up differently. So it's it's perfect where it's at. Sound effects 100. If you guys wanna mess with your audio, always mess with main and keep sound effects at 100. You want 100% of your sound effect audio. Sound quality, I keep it on high. Sometimes I go low, but a lot of times I'm just on high. Background audio is on all sounds, and then this stuff's kind of just whatever. I don't really use voice chat at all. Jumping on over, I do play NA East as my main region, but competitive is central. But on East, I'm on around zero ping normally. Mantle activation, hold jump, hurdle activation, press jump. I'll hold the swap pickup, one of the best like features ever invented in the game, at period. Auto suit consumables, I love that. This is my uh, weapon configuration, so like my shotgun's first slot, SMG second. So rifles in my last kind of like basic stuff uh, i don't i don't use uh, edit on release i do have my pre-edits on but i do not use edit on release or that edit reset thing i think it's horrible i think it sucks for controller players at least i don't know i don't like it at all uh this is all like random stuff this is all personal preference i have my replays on that's up to me i just kind of want that you guys want to make sure you have these two settings down low off these energy savings things turn both of them off to make your game run 20 times better with them off turn them off now this is our reticle and stuff now there's nothing too crazy with the ui i mean it's all personal preference i have hits and icons on max number scale that way i can see how much i'm hitting people for i mean there's nothing really crazy in here to show you guys now every time i say this bro i'm not even using a playstation controller but if you are don't use these gyro settings bro they're not good i'm sorry i gotta get in the mic but like if you're using these get off the game go don't use those we'll go through our keyword settings just real quick nothing too crazy in here you know it's just my my settings i do play keyboards sometimes not all the time i do recommend even if you are on controller though to change this strafe angle to 71 i don't know why but for some reason it has an effect on controller and this strafe angle feels amazing even on controller and keyboard everything else here doesn't matter we'll just kind of go through the custom binds real quick of a uh, keyboard not controller nothing too crazy i do have weird binds i don't recommend using mine if you are trying to switch i have q wall f floor stairs is e my roof is shift and i edit with v i mean i got really weird keyboard binds but they work for me i mean i can build and i can do basic stuff nothing too crazy here's the bread and butter chat what everyone's been waiting for the controller settings what everyone loves so much bro these things these bad boys get me going slide hold time 0 0.085 this is as low as i think you should go i think this is a perfect in between of being able to crouch and slide i do have auto run on and build immediately on it doesn't do much at a hold time i have it as low it doesn't really do anything i still don't know what these reset camera accesses are i don't use them at all i don't recommend them vibration off personal preference again don't use the quick weapon it's almost just as bad as the gyro settings the quick weapon's horrible if you use those you gotta go ahead and get out these these two are disabled we don't use you know basic settings we are on advanced options so we have our settings down low but build mode is 1.9 still i've kept that forever now and my edit is 2.3 which is newer but like it's in the old video so it's nothing too different has changed 
advanced sensitivity still 43 43 with two two boost you know just just like always man you know we got to be pretty consistent hitting our pump shots man six six with three three boost on my ads i've been using this for i've probably been on this ads since i'm not even trolling for like three years it's the it's the bread and butter of my gameplay i'm not even trolling look dampening don't use it we're we are on linear chat and then aim assist strength 100 of course bro give me as much aim assist as i can possibly get please now we have our dead zone at 10 10 nothing too crazy i mean it's just it's just our dead zone i mean i everyone has a different dead zone i recommend 10 10 but sometimes if you get stick drift you bump it up it's all just personal preference enable foot controller guys you get a little bit of extra aim assist i promise you i promise you no i promise you genuinely i promise you now they did change the bind like settings for this it's really weird to look at it's confusing to even me but we're just gonna go through them quick i'm gonna kind of like talk about like what i use like for building i obviously have uh the normal like build binds and then my switch mode chat so my switch mode is one of my back paddles so i have switch mode pickaxe sprint and jump <coughs> that's all what's on my back paddles and then I have these two side paddles now this one right here i have it bound to scroll wheel pickup insane right that i have scroll wheel on controller and then this one is scroll wheel reset so now we're locked in chat we can't lose 50 50s or anything anymore and then you know, i also have these buttons at the front i don't use any of them for anything i use actually i use one button for clips but other than that i don't i don't use them at all there's nothing really to use them on and then i confirm with rb which is just right here and then i can reset with left trigger I still don't use scroll reset that much. It's really not big to me. I don't like it too much. I like being able to reset normally. I feel like I have more control over my reset, if that makes sense. But I mean, that's that's all the settings, man. We, we just went through kind of like a G, I'm not gonna lie. This controller is probably one of the best controllers right now, by the way, guys. If you have not already seen this controller, it's the Scuff Envision Pro. Now I'm telling you, this controller will change your life, especially if you're a PC gamer. This piece, this controller is only for PC. You can't use it on other platforms. It only works on PC. There's even a, there's a software with it and everything, but you can do so much. This is the most customizable controller probably out, like in general. I'm not gonna lie. With that being said, though, it might be the most customizable controller, and you might not be able to use it on Xbox or PS5. But I promise you, I've used both of those controllers, Xbox and PS5, before, and I promise you, these settings work on all platforms any any console any controller i've tried it on all of it i play ps5 for fortnite tournaments i've played xbox for fortnite tournaments and i've used these same settings every time so that's all you gotta do is just lock in with these settings man i'm telling you they will change your life bro you'll be winning more games than ever but make sure you guys tune into my twitch as well i have it linked down below i'm live every single day playing so if you guys want to come through i'd appreciate it but if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one.